Hello friends, welcome to Video Club Channel. Ernest Miller Hemingway was born on July 21, 1899, in Oak Park, Illinois, an affluent suburb just west of Chicago, to Clarence Edmonds Hemingway, a physician, and Grace Hall Hemingway, a musician. His parents were well educated and well respected in Oak Park, a conservative community about which resident Frank Lloyd Wright said, so many churches for so many good people to go to. When Clarence and Grace Hemingway married in 1896, they lived with Grace's father, Ernest Miller Hall, after whom they named their first son, the second of their six children. His sister Marcellini preceded him in 1898, followed by Ursula in 1902, Madeleine in 1904, Carol in 1911, and Lester in 1915. Grace followed the Victorian convention of not differentiating children's clothing by gender. With only a year separating the two, Ernest and Marcellini resembled one another strongly. Grace wanted them to appear as twins, so in Ernest's first three years she kept his hair long and dressed both children in similarly frilly feminine clothing. Hemingway's mother, a well-known musician in the village, taught her son to play the cello despite his refusal to learn, though later in life he admitted the music lessons contributed to his writing style, evidenced for example in the contrapuntal structure of For Whom the Bell Tolls. As an adult Hemingway professed to hate his mother, although biographer Michael S. Reynolds points out that he shared similar energies and enthusiasms. Each summer the family traveled to Windermere on Walloon Lake, near Petoskey, Michigan. Their young Ernest joined his father and learned to hunt, fish, and camp in the woods and lakes of northern Michigan, early experiences that instilled a lifelong passion for outdoor adventure and living in remote or isolated areas. Hemingway attended Oak Park and River Forest High School in Oak Park from 1913 until 1917. He was an accomplished athlete involved with a number of sports, including boxing, track and field, water polo, and football. He performed in the school orchestra for two years with his sister Marcellini, and received good grades in English classes. During his last two years at high school he edited the Trapeze and Tabula, the school's newspaper and yearbook, where he imitated the language of sports writers and used the pen name Ring Lardner Jr. and nod to Ring Lardner of the Chicago Tribune whose byline was Line O Type. Like Mark Twain, Stephen Crane, Theodore Dreiser, and Sinclair Lewis, Hemingway was a journalist before becoming a novelist. After leaving high school he went to work for the Kansas City Star as a cub reporter. Although he stayed there for only six months, he relied on the Star's style guide as a foundation for his writing, use short sentences. Use short first paragraphs. Use vigorous English. Be positive, not negative. Thank you very much for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe.